we'll be fine. We will be fine. They just call that on camera now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how are Good you? Morning. Uh, welcome, this is Ho Chanda. Uh, and what an exciting hour we're going to have. I have to say, you might not have seen me before, so you might be saying, who are you? And then you were saying, and who are you? Uh, because I've just been here for four days, uh, not in a row. Uh, and this, of course, is a lovely new guest, Sue, from a fantastic company that is going to help you to learn to quilt and make wonderful projects. So hello. Hello. How nice are to you? be here. Are you all right? Yep. I'm first, fine. Is this your first time on telly? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And, and your company's already a year old as well. Only a year wow, old. Wow, so it is a baptism of fire, isn't it, really? Yeah. Although I have been sewing for a very long I time. I was going to say, yeah. clearly you've been doing this for a long time, <laughs> yeah. Sue. So, so d have you always been a quilter or other disciplines? Oh, I started off making dolls clothes for the kids in the street where I lived and then made my own clothes and then started quilting probably in the early 70s yes and I've been at it ever since ever since ever so since. what made you decide to start a business then I retired from what you might call proper work okay <laughs> about 18 months ago yeah. and uh, now what am I gonna do yeah brain still works yeah just can't go to work yeah so um, this is what I decided to do I think that is very admirable <laughs> and it just shows you you know you, we always say oh we've got to do things by the time we're 30 or whatever no you don't no. you can do things at any time, any in time life. of your life yeah absolutely. very inspirational <laughs> absolutely well that's absolutely brilliant now let's talk about the name of this company because I mistakenly as did Yanis and probably other people <laughs> said the word veg but it's not it's it's Thai veg five Th five egg, five egg. <sighs> Five egg. Yeah. Um, not five eggs. When you read it, you, and then my, my director called it, I thought he said five eggs. I thought, what's five <laughs> eggs got to do with it? But let's talk about that name. Why, how? Why is it pronounced like that? Well, my husband can, comes from the Isle of Man. Yes. Uh, he was born and raised there. And as a youngster, the, there was a little room at the bottom of the garden, shall yes. we say. Uh, and it was always known as Thive Egg, okay. which is Manx for Little House. Little House. And he then went on to build me, I call it a shed, he calls it a chalet, uh, in our, our home in France. And over the door, he put a plaque that said Thive Egg. Right. So when we were thinking about this, it just seemed appropriate and a little nod to him. Yeah, oh, so. that's nice. <laughs> yeah. Do you live in France then? Yes. Wow, where do you live? Just in the middle, yeah. in the O3 Departement, uh, which is known as the Allier. Amazing. South of the Loire Valley. So I want it's to retire beautiful. To south of France. Might be a bit too pricey for me, but you know. Too pricey for me. <laughs> but it'll be, be lovely. I'll, I'll, be, will a, be, I'll lovely. be in a five egg in the south of France. <laughs> tell you a shed. Right, well, look, should we crack on and see what we've got yep. on this show? Because um, what you are aiming to do, I think, um, tell me, Sue, is to, is to give people an opportunity to have a go, to, to you know, yes. you cut everything for them, which is a difficult part because you want to get straight bits, don't you? Um, the fabrics, I mean, you've got the, yeah, the, not the pieces every kit ready. Not is pre-cut. No, but some of them are, and yeah. you've got patterns. So yeah. you've got a nice selection here to choose for your levels and what you want to do. Yeah. So pre-cut, yep. um, patterns, etc. Yeah. So let's talk about this one. Now, this is a very um, popular um, way to quilt, isn't it? The Dresden hanging up I've, I've heard of the Dresden before yeah it, Dresden is the, the plates there yes that's a Dresden that's plate. a Dresden plate and this particular hanging I've made in the quilt as you go technique yeah so you literally build a block add another one to it so yes. as you build in the piece it comes together you've got no yeah. additional quilting to do yes you don't need to send it away to the quilting lady to have it put together yeah uh, you can do that as you go I also use this technique for large projects as well as small mm. um, I find it nice and easy on domestic sewing machines yeah so this is one well the concept came years and years ago but never got around to writing the pattern mm. um, so this year I've written the pattern and here we are that's a different vari colour variant. Yeah, this one is the buttermilk. Yeah. Yeah. And the other one that's in front of Sue is the tickled. Do you want to hold yours up, darling? Yep. So yours is tickled pink. Yeah. And mine is buttermilk. So you can choose which option you would like to have. So uh, Sue has got the tickled pink and I have the buttermilk. Yeah. Uh, now, do you know what's nice about this as well, um, Sue, is that I think 
you know, with quilting. Mm. I, I think people can sometimes, they, they see in their head when you say quilt, they see a massive yeah. quilt on a bed and they think, I could never attempt that. Yeah. I could never make that. This is a lovely project to start with because it's smaller, yeah. it's achievable, yeah. it's not going to take and it is years achievable. to do. Very yeah. achievable. Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about what you get then to help you achieve this. So obviously okay. you've got your, your pattern in the here. Pattern, and the pattern is very detailed. Mm. Um, it's it step by step instructions. Everything you need to know is there. If yes. you follow one, it'll go to two, goes to three, yes. goes to four, goes Brilliant. to five. So that's all there. Uh, you get the templates as well. And they're just on paper, so you trace and cut them out yeah. yourself. Okay. Um, so you don't have to buy expensive template acrylics or template plastic or whatever. Yes. Um, I tend to try and do things quickly and easily rather mm. than have to invest in tools. Mm. Uh, when I first started quilting for serious about 20 years ago, there was that many tools on the market. I could mm. have spent a fortune. Mm. Um, I'm a little, well, I'm a lot more circumspect now about what I buy. Yeah. I buy things that I know I'm going to use again and again. And where possible, I'll make a template in paper. Yes because I know it'll work yeah you know you don't know that at the beginning to be fair but yeah. as you get more experienced you do know it's going to work yeah um, so I try and do things simply straightforwardly and then you get your fat quarters yes there are six fat quarters in each pack mm -hmm. one of which will be light so that you can use it for the background and the others will all be toning okay um, that's a pretty obvious light one over there and a fat quarter yeah is looks like that approximately 20 by 21 right yeah Yep. It's not a fat quarter yard, it's a fat quarter metre. Okay. So uh, you get, well, you get enough. Yeah, brilliant. More than enough. Okay, well, the most popular one is buttermilk, which is my selection here, oh. which was the one that I held up. I think it's the greens. I think it's that kind of racing green in there. It makes it, it pop. And I, and I think it's, with the red, it's a really strong... Yeah. Um, statement. Yes, so it that, is. that is the most popular one at the moment. But you can choose from each. Uh, 984595, that is your item number. Lovely. We're going to go to the end. Yeah? Oh, this next one. Sorry. Apologies. <laughs> um, right. So let's have a look at this. Now, this is here. Yes. Behind me here, we'll get a lovely shot of that. Now, this has actually been selling before we came to air. <gasps> And when I was talking to my lovely producer about it, um, we, I said, I can see why. Because when you look at it on that wall, yeah. it's, a, it's, it's very striking. It's very striking. To me, that is a classic quilt. Mm -hmm. And also, I have to say, it's squares. And I kind of feel like even I could attempt yes. that. And that's how it was designed. It's achievable, isn't so it? So that even a very brand new beginner quilter mm. can pick this up and yep. get on and do it. And these bits are cut they and ready for They are pre-cut ready, yeah. Yes. And, and it is designed and aimed at a beginner. Yeah. Although having said that, it's the sort of quick quilt that if you needed a quick gift mm. um, or you got stuff that was left over that you wanted to donate to Linus or anything like that, it will make up in a couple of evenings. Mm. And, and that's genuine, a couple yeah. of evenings. Yeah. Um, once the pieces are cut, it just flies together and, and sometimes that is the difficult part is doing the cutting it especially when be. it's squares yeah. because if you go off a little bit yeah. it's gonna be very hard to sew it together yes it can be mm. absolutely it mm. can be but as a block it's very forgiving mm. um, it's called a disappearing nine patch so you put nine pieces together then mm. slice them downwards and slice them across yeah and it, it really is fast Yes. Fast make. Yeah. So brilliant. Yeah, and you can do it in all sorts well, of ways. Well, uh, 321 721 is your item number. That was, that was a quiz show. Do you remember that? 321. <laughs> Three, two, one. Used to do that Ted with Rogers. Yes. Ted Rogers. Ted Rogers. 321. Uh, right, 39 uh, down, and it's 20, 20 pounds today, your first of two interest free flexible payments. Uh, but 20% of that has gone. Let's move across now to the next one. Now, this is your table runner. Yeah. Um, and you will have some scraps left over, yep. which you could make some little coasters, coasters. Mm -hmm. yeah sorry I'm leaning on this I'm that's right. confusing you because that's not it but I'm just leaning over it um, no, this is your over table there. runner which is over there yeah so we can see that hanging yeah on the door there it's big that do you know that's big but you see you said you live in the middle of France yeah. I could imagine that on a fantastic kind of oak table in a lovely that's French exactly dining room exactly what it was made for so <laughs> you and I are on the same wavelength yeah, yeah that it is. was made for my dining table which yeah. will seat 12 it's huge yeah and that just sits all the way down the middle yeah. and, and what's nice is with that middle panel that black panel is where you could put your sort of 
main you know pot yeah. of stew or something or if you wanted I wouldn't or put it directly on the table no, no. <laughs> on um, a trivet <laughs> yes on a trivet or perhaps uh, some flowers yes. or something like that but yeah, yeah that's uh, that's really stunning now looking at that again Sue I'm thinking that also looks achievable yes because it's just strips another straightforward yeah. easy quilt for anybody to make yeah and, and relatively quick Yes. You know, yeah. Because I don't do things that are too complicated. No. So um, here are these fat quarters. No, again? they're long quarters. Okay. And the difference between a fat yeah. is more or less square and a long, long is which long would and obviously thin. what yeah. you need for the strips. Uh, you do. Yeah. You do. And then you've got your black square for the your middle black. and yeah. your pattern. Yeah. Lovely. Okay. A six two six nine two is your item number. Twenty three forty nine. If you would like to make a nice table runner and then the bag that I was leaning on uh, <laughs> that is the next project here lovely little bag here um, and um, once again all the pieces supplied yes quilted in square uh, well it's it looks called, like squares and again, rectangles it's stitch and flip yes. there's a grid to tell you how big to cut the pieces yep. you don't have to follow what I've done you can put any mm. piece anywhere because mm. there's plenty to do both sides yes it is a good size bag I use it for knitting as you can see mm. I mean, sweater I started for the other half about three years ago it's still on the needle but <laughs> nevertheless it lives in there it genuinely is a real it's gonna be a nice sweater though <laughs> I you. like it thank you <laughs> but I've got another one at home that I actually use for shopping yeah when I'm not carrying you know yeah. very heavy things I take it down the local supermarket yeah and the ladies there go oh très bon très bon oh, oh yeah merci beaucoup <laughs> merci beaucoup well if you want to be able to make this lovely bag for yourself uh, 578 600 is your item number 31 pounds and 49 pence there fabulous I'm loving these kits too because they're achievable they're affordable yeah, yeah. and they're, they're really lovely little things as yeah. well that you'll keep now another little mini it's bag a mini version of, of that, that one mm -hmm. and I personally these are my colors I love these colors mm. um, I gave one to one of my granddaughters a couple of years ago filled with cotton wool yep. and pads and nail polishes mm. and that sort of thing good idea uh, and she keeps all her stuff in there yeah I didn't today but I have taken one to classes before now with all my sewing kit in mm. and just throw it all in uh, and again the grid is there the templates are there squares are there yeah. this one will make up identically both sides if you want it to you don't have to you can randomly place things and an end achievable again uh, lovely I mean and this lady yesterday who um has been on you know one of my courses and she actually contacted me and said can I make you a little bag for Ho Chanda so you can keep all your things there which oh. was really sweet of her and I said yes please and then she said which colours would you like and I said oh just go for a pink and within an hour she'd made it yeah and then she sent me a picture of it so that's yeah. that that's coming here but they are they're lovely little yeah. things to, to carry yeah, things in and keep things, things in, in. So things this in. one I do use as a shopper yeah I have to say yeah but nice projects again Thank achievable you. Um, so look, if you want to be able to make that one, it's 622234, that's your item number, £20.49 pence. if you'd like to make that for someone or for yourself. Mm -hmm. Lovely, I must give her a mention actually, she's called Julie. Ma Julie, I call her, <laughs> Julie White. <laughs> now, if you would like to have a look on the website and, uh, you know, find some patterns, if you've got your own fabric to use, but you want just the patterns, not a problem, we can do nope. that for you as well. Yep. And there they are on the website there, which of course is hochanda.com. So you simply add them into your basket and then use your own fabrics, which is great. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. And yeah, um, yeah. and over 10% um, of just the patterns by themselves has gone. So yeah, people are, just, yeah, people are liking the idea yeah. of just buying the patterns and just giving yeah. it a go with their own fabrics. Yeah. So uh, there you go, that's on the website, hochanda.com. Right, well, Sue, you have survived 15 minutes of live television. <laughs> you see, it's all right, isn't it now? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine it's now. Fine. And you know what you're right. doing. I, I, I so. don't. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I've been doing it for 25 years, and I still don't know what I'm doing. I just kind of mosey wing along. Yeah. I wing it. Yeah. Now, you are not going to win it. You're going to follow your pattern yeah. and tell us about one of your lovely pieces. Yeah, what I thought I'd do to show everybody a technique called Quilt As You Go. Okay. And I like Quilt As You Go very easy to make uh, to make the, the pieces come together it comes together very quickly uh, you are building your quilt as you make the blocks yes which is a wonderful idea because mm. you don't have to send your quilt to the quilt lady afterwards um, to get it made up who I, is this quilt lady we oh, need her, we they're need her all in our over lives. the place they're <laughs> all over the place quilt ladies are yeah. and they do stunning work I mean mm. absolutely stunning mm. work um, to be honest, if it was an heirloom quilt or a quilt for a, a wedding gift or a baby quilt that you 
wanted to keep forever, I would use a professional quilter. Uh, for my own stuff, I do it myself. Yeah. Because my quilts are to be used. Mm. They're not to be looked at. Well, mm. some are. But, but broadly they're to be used yeah. so I tend to do things that I can put together without using a quilt frame yeah. uh, I do have a quilt frame but it's such a big contraption yeah. <laughs> you need a large space to get it out yeah. um, so I like quilt as you go you can yeah. do big projects as well as little projects with well, it well I wanted to tell you something else as well Sue just in case you're wondering how it's going are people liking what you're doing because I know as a new guest you know that all these things <laughs> yeah. are racing through your head am I saying the right things am I doing the right things yeah. have I brought the right things well let me tell you the lap quilt half of the stock has gone good lord whoa and we've only been on air 15 minutes exactly <laughs> so if you would like to make that beautiful quilt there it is in all of its glory it is squares it is fairly easy to make it a is. lovely achievable affordable yeah. project 20 pounds a day 20 pounds in a month's time 321721 that is your item number but half of that stock has gone so do get in God. very quickly indeed God. do you know these robotic cameras they freak me out because <laughs> they I, move by I'm themselves. so used to having cameramen and, <laughs> and then it just sort of follows me and moves. Don't get too close as don't well, it gets too, too close. close up. No, we don't like that. We need some polyfiller no. in there. <laughs> right. Okay, you ready for me to I am ready. have a little play? Well, what We're I've, ready. What I've already prepared is one of the log cabin blocks. Yes. And you'll see that I've tacked it all the way around the edges so that it holds itself firm. Now this one, I've just prepared it, it's the background fabric um, and a piece of wadding which is a little bit bigger and a piece of backing which is a little bit bigger again. I'll be honest and say I don't buy backing fabric for small things like this, mm. I use all sorts of offcuts. Anything I've got lying around will yeah. do. Um, because it's on, it's on the back, Yeah. it's not on show. So I thought what I'd do, if I may, mm. I'd start with this part of the quilt here yeah I've already prepared four of the small plates and I've pressed them ready to sew together I'm going to just show you how to do the last one and turn that ready to sew and then I'm going to put that onto the little block that I've made mm. And the then we're going to put the two blocks together. Together. Do you know when I look at these, I see little seaside huts. <laughs> I can see that. Do um, you really? Yeah. Um, now, just to say as well, in terms of this one, the Dresden, the buttermilk is still in the lead. Uh, is over it really? 10 of that stock has gone. Uh, but people are liking everything we're doing on the show. I must say thank you as well to buying, because if you don't buy, then people mm. like Lovely Sue can't, can't be, here. be here and no. can't bring you nothing. So it's great. So thank you very much for yes. everybody who's bought today. And everybody else who's watching and enjoying themselves. Nice to have your company. It is. It's like the machines getting a bit old. Is it? Oh, oh. I've had it more years than I care to remember. With this, I've stitched across the broad end mm -hmm. and I'm now just going to nip that corner off. Yeah. So that when you turn it inside out, there's less bulk in the corner. Mm and then I'm going to press that flat, okay? Yep. And that now is ready, Move sorry, that's the side on. That's right. to go in the middle of those. Mm. Now it'll take me a minute or two to sew the five together. That's fine. So do you want to waffle for a bit? Wha waffle? She knows me well. <laughs> she knows me really well. That's exactly what I do. <laughs> I just waffle well, to the annoyance no, of no, some no. people. Can some I just people like it. show you something? Mm. Can the camera pick that up? Yes, we can pick up everything. This robot can. Anybody else get birds again? nest on the un underside of yes. their piece the when, they, when they're sewing? Yeah. For years and years, I read American books and magazines and wondered why they used a thing called a leader. Mm. And it was only probably six months ago that the penny dropped the leader, you, you get that on your leader, not on the piece that you're about to sew. Oh, and I, I see. thought that's clever. I've yes. got to work out what the ender is yet, but the leader I can work <laughs> At least out. you know the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. That's great. So you just do that on a piece of scrap, mm. and then you can put your pieces together, yes. knowing that there's no 
bird's nest yeah. underneath, which again can be difficult. That's a really good to deal top with. tip. Yeah. Yeah, fabulous. Wow. Well, I tell you something. We are, what's the most popular thing? Is it the square quilt? The um, yeah, the lac quilt. That is the most popular item at the moment. Um, yeah, we'll give you the details of that one again because people are loving that. I think it's that red and white, and I think it's the squares because it's easy and. Uh, people can you know, do that one. Classic colours. Well, and red and white stands out nicely. It does, doesn't it? 321721 is your item number there. Uh, £20 today. Two thirds now gone. Two thirds. It will sell out this hour. So two... Well, that's my prediction. I could be wrong. Uh, I'm not Mystic Meg. Um, tw tw £20 today. £20 in a month's time. Um, and the table runner. Yep. 30% um, of that one gone. As we said, beautiful on a big table, or even a smaller table, it's up to you, but a lovely, lovely table runner there. 862692 is your item number there. That's £23.49 as well. Uh, lovely. Yeah, so I, yeah, it's huge. But it's great, can, can you? Yeah. So you could make a little smaller one if you, you want can. to. Maybe could you, do you think you could make two small ones out of it? It's uh, not quite enough. Not quite enough. Well, there isn't anywhere near enough black. Mm. Um, so you, you need could make, a bit Maybe you could make a smaller one and then you could make you maybe could, a placemat or two oh, or yeah, absolutely. something to go with absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah, so just a, adjust it really yeah. to what you want to do. Or you can enlarge it because there are some strips left over. Mm. So it could be enlarged as well. But I don't think anybody realistically would have a table much more than 88 inches long. Apart from I'm maybe one. the Queen. Well, yes. And she I'm has some big tables. Not the Queen. So. Not that I've had dinner with the Queen. <laughs> really? Not this week anyway. Not this week. <laughs> so I've got a story though about that. Have you? Shall I tell you a story? Yes. Not about the queen, but yeah. So basically, when we got married, mm -hmm. um, I am me, listening. Me, oh, that's all right. Uh, me and the husband, so quite some time ago, um, this lady helped us with our wedding, and she was called Sarah. And it turned out that Sarah was best friends with Sophie, as in, no, not the queen. Sophie, what is she? Duchess Wessex. of Wessex. Yeah, Sophie Wessex. And she had been best friends with her from school, and obviously then Sophie went on to marry Edward. So when Sophie and Edward got married, who was invited? Sarah, who uh -huh. came to, did my wedding. So she went to the Big Palace Royal Wedding. Anyway, I'd forgotten this, so when she came to my dinner, my house, because I invited her for dinner when she'd done all the wedding and it had gone really well, and I said, come on, let's have a little chat and I'll show you the pictures. And then we sat there having some cutlery. And it was from, the cutlery was from Habitat. So it was quite nice cutlery. <laughs> And she commented and said, oh, this is nice colour, Rachel. I went, yes, it's heavy. So, da, 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 da. Forgetting that she'd eaten at a royal wedding. <laughs> so there was me talking about my cutlery <laughs> when she'd eaten at a royal, royal wedding, wedding <laughs> with slightly better cutlery than mine. <laughs> I did ask her for gossip, but she was sworn no, to secrecy. No, no, they won't do that, I'm sure. Okay, I've now got the five pieces together and Perfect. I'm ready to line them up on the block. Now, I like that one to point to the corner. Yeah. These shoulders will be proud, uh, and I've done that deliberately so that you can get it more or less okay. right into the seam allowance. Isn't it amazing, though, that that little bit of sewing you did there, how quickly a piece oh, yeah. has come together? Yeah. And I think people look at these pieces and go, too frightening, too frightening. No. It's quite simple if you break it down. It is, and, and the pattern will break it down into yeah. sections. You do four of those. You do eight of those. Mm. You do one of the centre, obviously. Mm -hmm. And by the time you've done that, you're ready to put the whole thing together. Exactly. Now what I'm going to do is change the stitch on the machine. Now not every machine has got fancy stitches, but I know that a lot of them do. This one, by the way, is the tickled pink. Yes. Um, if you are looking at it going, oh, I like that one. Now wh which one that was called? That's the tickled, tickled pink. pink. Yep. yep. And these were a few scraps I had left over from mm. when I did that. Um, I need to change the foot, so that will take me a, a moment. Don't worry. Otherwise, I should be breaking needles. We will let you change your foot. Thank you. And I don't particularly want to break a needle right while I'm doing this. By the way, the pick and mix patterns, they're going very well. Um, if you want to just pick a couple of those, it is £12.99, did I remember correctly? 
Oh. Uh, and uh, yeah, there's plenty of patterns there. You don't have to buy the fabrics today. You can just buy Sue's patterns and it's 066872 and then you just pick any two and you get them for 12.99 and they are really uh, well illustrated patterns lots of yeah. photographs to help you and instructions and also the large runner kit as well um, that's the table runner we were just talking about half the stock has gone again there goes the robot look finding his position <laughs> he freaks me out that robot camera a mind of its own it's very good though you're very good camera very good robot um so they now it just spoke to me there you go so if you want to be able to make that large runner kit that is 862 and 692 here he goes again what's he finding for us oh yes of course he is yes he's guessing it is this one the lap quilt limited stock so I was right, it is going to yeah. sell out because we are only 24 minutes in. So if you want to be able to make that quilt, it's 321721. And that's £20 a day, £20 in a month's time. Limited yeah. stock. Do you remember that 321 though? You started, didn't you? Yeah, 321, yeah. Ted so Rogers. Funny. I know. But everybody used to think it was really hard, actually. And it's not. Flicking his fingers around. Yeah. That's what he's doing. Yeah. This stitch I'm using, again, I don't know whether the camera's got it, but uh, it's a blanket stitch. And this is one of the first machines that ever had these fancy stitches mm. built in. And uh, I just love it. Absolutely loved it for applique. And of course, that's what this little bit is. It's an applique piece. I think I'm going to stop there for time. I can always come back that to that. That looks lovely, that bit of stitching on there. It yeah. just sets it off, doesn't it? Does. It? it does. And it holds it firm. So you don't need mm. to do anything else because it's all on the back. So it's holding it firm. Mm. The block is already quilting as you go, literally. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'll just show that off because yep. that is, yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? Really mm. just set it off. Yeah. On another day, I'd put a variegated thread on. But for the yeah. purposes of today, I've just yeah. left the ordinary thread on. But you get yeah. some beautiful uh, variegated threads. Mm. I'm going to just turn that pin that way. Now, I want to trim this. You've got, you've got the cutter and you've got the rulers. I want to trim this back to five inches. Um, so we start with one edge and get it reasonably square. And then we can square that one up. 20% of the Dresden plate has gone. I do find as well in shows uh, in previous times yeah. that um, what happens is the main seller sells out and yeah. then people think, oh, I wish it. I'd, yeah. But then they think, well, I still want to buy something. So then they start to go to the other things. So you'll find now that these Dresdens will start going up. That's that's well, my second prediction of the, the day. Hour. Yes, okay. I predict the lottery numbers will be. No. <laughs> that would be great if you could do that. Wouldn't it just? Uh, wouldn't it just? Then I'd get my house in the south of France, wouldn't I? You would indeed. Anywhere you fancied. Can maybe or. Well, do you know, I went to Nice last year for my oh, holidays. Yeah. I'm going again this year. It's actually my friend's flat. It's a great deal. Yeah. All I have to do to have the flat for nothing yeah. is look after her dog for a week. I think you could do and that, And there's a cute you? little dog. It's called Uji, <laughs> as in Uji Uji. Flip. So I'm going back this year. I don't blame you. So, yeah, don't mind. Can, Nice. Um, <laughs> Anywhere like that will do. What's happening? Lab quilt? Oh, actually, technically know. sold out now, which means every single one is allocated in a shopping basket. So um, you, wow. your only chance of getting that now is if one bounces back. Do keep checking the website in the next five, ten minutes uh, because uh, one might bounce back. But at the moment, yeah. every single one is technically sold out. And the phone lines are also busy as well. Uh, but you can get the pattern for it. Yeah. So don't be too disappointed because no. you could go and buy some red and white fabrics of your own choice. You could buy any colour at all. You could buy any colour if you want it in blue. It, you, you do what you want to do, but the patterns are there. You buy two, pick two, any two. How many patterns have we got in total? Five. Five. So pick any two from the five, and it's twelve ninety nine for the two. Item number 066872, and then just pick two. Perfect. Okay. Right, I'm going to put these two blocks together. Uh, you start off with the back piece, which is two and a half inches wide. Mm. And then you press it down the long edge, so yeah. you've got a long, thin piece. Yes. You will then pop that behind there. G give yourself a bit of, you know, a bit of something to start with because these things can be quite awkward to start. Mm. Mm. Then you'll have to get a leader on and one have you. But I use that little bit there instead of a leader. And then that one goes on the top. So you wind up with a sandwich. 
I'm having a chicken sandwich today <laughs> because I'm no. the only bought one from the supermarket. <laughs> so mm. you've got your sashing on the top, which will fold over like that, which is that piece there. And then you've got your hinge on the bottom, which will hold the two together, which is that piece there. Now, if I just quickly run this down on the machine, you'll see. Oh, dear. We had any emails in, by the way. Uh, studio at hochanda.com. Brilliant. I think people are too busy watching, but if you do want <laughs> to say hello to our lovely Sue or... Um, That'll be or rather nice. Oh, phone, that's the problem. Everybody's either watching or shopping. <laughs> There's no time for emailing. None of that nonsense. <laughs> Which is time consuming, emailing. So I'm sewing through all three layers. Tell you something that 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 machine is a uh, a solid machine, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It the, the base is cast. Yeah, you cast can, iron. You can, you can hear the yeah. workings of that. You machine. wouldn't want to be carrying this around to shows, no. uh, to classes very often. No. I'm going to take these off, level with the edge of the the block, and square as square as I can get. And then I'm going to flip that one up. I'm going to leave the bottom one as it is, but I'm going to flip that one up and press it. OK? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do anything with that one. I'm going yeah. to leave it there. And then the other block, mm. I'm going to put right sides against that mm. and stitch down there. OK. okay? Perfect. I'll pin it just to make sure it doesn't move too much. Yes. Although we are doing it rather quickly. And again, I use the little leader to stop the bird's nest underneath. Nip that off and throw that somewhere. Now you open it out and you've got your hinge, yes. and that's that piece there. Ah, now, yes. I'm going to just quickly press this yeah. to make it a little bit easier mm. for the wadding to go in the channel. Mm. Now the wadding is half inch and it, it, it's quite tricky to cut, mm. but once you've done one or two, it, 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 it sort of sorts itself out. Yeah. Push the wadding into the channel. Now it is a snug fit and it needs to be a snug fit. Okay. And then this one will press over that way. And the iron's going cool now because I've unplugged it so I'll plug it back in again. Oh okay. Yep. And then there you go. There's your your quilt as you go. And that's All it. Done. Look. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, the next thing we'll just, just slip stitch that down. Yep. And then that will look like that. So it doesn't take long. When it's finished. No, it doesn't. Mm. No. It doesn't. And it's a sort of thing. If you're a hand sewer, you mm. can take with you anywhere mm. um, and, and do. But uh, I like it because it's quick. Yeah. And already, sort of, the quilt is beginning to take shape mm. because you've got two bits together. Yeah. And they are, to all intents and purposes, finished. Perfect. Okay. Very good. I love the little projects that you've made for us, Sue, because it is achievable and I like yeah. people to learn yeah. new things and, and to yeah. give things a go, so that's fabulous. And to be fair, mm. this looks a lot more complicated than it actually is. Than it, actually is. Yeah. it is a little bit fiddly, Yeah. Um, you know, getting 
that well you can see I've used variegated thread there mm. but it's a little bit fiddly to start with but yeah. you've only got four of them to do not 96 not exactly yeah? it's a good which size. is the thing that puts people off yeah yeah you've got to make 96 of this block that's right you know so and then you end up with UFOs yes oh yeah piles and piles objects. of them yeah mm. yeah so I quite like things that come together by themselves yeah um, you can see it growing mm. so to speak yeah um, as you're working and all the instructions are there uh -huh. and it is achievable it is should we go through colors and prices and numbers let's do it okay so um if you would like to get a hold of the tickled pink that was the one that we were just holding sue and i uh, that is nine eight four five nine five but the most popular is the buttermilk which i will hold up for you right now uh, that is nine eight four five nine five that is the buttermilk and that is the most popular one at the moment so if you do want to get hold of that one be very quick indeed 34.99 lovely uh, that's that shall i just head down the counter yeah come on um large runner kit that's this one so um let's have a look at on the wall mr robot um there he goes There he is. <laughs> He's ready. So if you want to be able to make that fantastic table runner, um, then you need to buy this kit. We were saying that, you know, if your table's a bit smaller, you could make a smaller version and then you could make maybe a couple of placemats to go with it or something like that, which is an idea. Um, 23.49 is the price on that at the moment. 862.692 is your item number. But 60% of that has gone. So a lot of you liking the look of that. And just to say as well, if you make that big table runner, there will be scraps enough for you to make some little coasters out of it as well or anything that you want to make. So uh, that is up to you. Uh, 862 692 that is your item number perfect lovely let's go on to our <laughs> I've got a lovely producer he's from Dudley and he just said uh, it's a book it bag um, it's the book it bag right so if you want to make your book it bag um, now I don't know what accent I'm doing <laughs> uh, five seven eight six hundred uh, mind you, I'm just as bad with the Northern, aren't I? 600. Um, 31.49 is the price that you will pay if you would like to be able to make that. Now, 20% of this stock has gone. Remember, you get your cut pieces all ready to go, your fabulous pattern, and then you can make a lovely bag like this for yourself. So 578, 600 is your item number if you would like to get hold of that. Let's move along. If you want the mini version, the little one, in the lavenders, very uh, Provencal, Francais, beautiful colours, yeah. Um, 622234 is your item number. £20.49 for that one. And once again, all of your pieces cut for you. So no worrying about not having square or oblong pieces to sew together perfectly. It will work perfectly for you. 622234. Um, have a look on the web, 40% by the way of the mini one has gone and if you go onto the website you can find everything there including those patterns where you can pick two of so if you have missed out on anything you can get the patterns and then you can get your own fabrics and, uh, and make up whatever it is that you want to make. Oh there's only three patterns left now, there were five so yeah a couple have sold out but we have still got three patterns left and you can choose two, but 80% now of those three have gone. So they could also sell out. It's going to be a sellout show. You do realise soon now <laughs> they're going to be getting you back again and well. again. You're going to be a, a lot of trips across that <laughs> channel. Yes. Uh, by the way, limited stock as well on our lap quilt pattern. Um, that's in the pick and mix, of course. So that one will disappear before the other two. But we are now demonstrating the runner kit, the table runner. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. This is a scaled down version of that. Of that. That's a bit big to be handling yes. in a small space. So the instructions will say cut your backing piece, cut your wadding piece, and then cut a centre square. Now I've probably not been very clever here because I've got white on white, but I just thought white sometimes also makes batik sing. The first instruction will say find the centre of your backing and pin mark it. Mm -hmm. Find the centre of your wadding, pin mark that and then put them both together. Then you want to put the centre square on the diagonal, matching yes. two corners with you. And then the instructions will say, and it is worth doing, tack everything together now. 
tack your two edges there and there and there and then tack this on um, because it will hold everything nice and firm now mm. I haven't got time to tack it so I'm just going to pin it and hope for the best okay I might do that instead of that okay instructions will tell you exactly how to cut and where to cut the angle and all you're doing you're using a 45 degree marker on any standard ruler okay and they've all got 45 degree markers on so you just leveling the edge of the strips up with the 45 degrees actually you do it the other way and then cut this end off but I know everybody will know how to cut at 45 degrees mm. once that's done you then start building up the runner that piece is going to go there and this piece will go here and the angles yes are now square onto the edge yeah okay so we'll put the first piece on and the little the very pointy corner bit mm. needs to just well it's not extending but it should extend by a very minor amount so that you're not going to lose anything on that corner and if you don't mind i'll just run that down there don't mind at all sue okay don't mind at all and i don't know whether we've said this but everything is quarter inch seams mm. um yeah my machine has got a quarter inch foot but in all truth it's a fraction over a mm. quarter of an inch and I would say don't worry about that as long as you don't alter it mid-project your seam allowances are all going to come out the same whether mm. it's a scant quarter or a quarter quarter yeah they will all come out the same once that's sewn on the technique now is to just flip it up and sew it and press it down yeah and then your next piece is going to go on that to That's the sweetest little iron, by the way. So, <laughs> I mean, honestly, I've seen little irons, but that's a little iron. That's I've a had it for years. It's such a sweetie. Um, years and years. Now, I always check this just to make sure I'm going to put the, the diamond bit on the right side. OK. Because it wouldn't be the first time. Now, Jan mm -hmm. has emailed in today. She said she's loving the show, Sue. Oh, thank you very and, much, Jan. Uh, she's saying more. She, I can actually hear her doing this. More, more. Oh, sorry, and Quilton, please. Um, but she says thank you very much to Hoshanda. So you are welcome. I wonder if she is a new viewer then. Uh, possibly so. Yeah, maybe a bit of a, maybe a, a sewer viewer. That'd be uh, nice. Wanting more sewing and quilting. It certainly is going very well. Um, was that the same lady, Jennifer? In the art? is it Jenna? No. No, Jan was the first lady, Jan, and then we've had Jennifer from the Isle of Man, a place I've never been. Uh, she oh. says you missed the start of the show. Um, oh, that's a shame. Um, but. Um, she wants an explanation of the name. OK, not a problem. So basically, if you, by the way, if ever you miss a show, just go to the website. There's a rewind button at the top. Click on there. All shows are there for 60 days so that you can... Uh, 60 days? Yes, you can rewind. It's better than the BBC, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Uh, 30 days, I think. So uh, you can rewind and have a look. But uh, she's enjoying the show anyway. But yeah, basically, um, the name um, is a Gaelic... Manx Gaelic. For... Little House. Little House. There little house because i called it veg everybody's been calling it veg it's not yes. just veg <laughs> but um it's not a veg house no. that would be a greenhouse <laughs> oh getting very no, complicated no, no. no no my husband so would be most is, disappointed at that yes it's a little shed a little house little house yeah okay there's the first two on and that one's going to flip up. And again, you've got pictures in your pattern yep. that will show you this step. Yes, you can see what you're doing. Because you, once you've done it once, you just keep going and going and mm. going until you've done as much. Do you know what I've done? I've sewn right through my pin. Have you? <laughs> How did you manage that? I, th I felt it go thud. <laughs> Good machine, that one. It did so through pins. I must give a shout out to a couple of ladies, actually, who I know are taping the show because yeah. uh, they're at work today. Uh, on my own social media, um, Rachel Pierman, just get a bit of flag there for the social media. <laughs> Um, yeah, a lady called Catherine I know is watching today. Catherine Williams, huge sewer. I said to her, you need to watch this show. She is. Hello, Catherine. Uh, I think <laughs> Julie is and maybe Ruth as well. So hello, ladies. Um, Hi, girls. And someone called John is emailed in. 
Hello, Johnny. Oh. Good morning, he says. That'll be mine. Does that's my mother-in-law, he says. That's the mother. That's my son-in-law. <laughs> and you owe him a quiche. I do. I do. That'll be tomorrow. I like it how we are. Has anybody else got any messages for the crew? <laughs> anybody, family members? We're sort of, you know, we're, we're not using traditional texting here. We're just using the medium of television <laughs> to get the message across. I will so. say this. He's supposed to be at work. <laughs> I hope he's on a break. <laughs> Oh, bless his heart. He's a lovely fella. Do you make quiche or is I it... I do, I do. And Ooh, it's his favourite. Ooh, nice. It really is. It and is what favourite. is his favourite quiche? Uh, cheese and onion. Cheese and onion quiche. With some tomatoes. Is that a quiche Lorraine? Is that I traditionally? Yes, I suppose it is, yes. yes. Mm. But there's plenty of onion in it for him because he's a, an onion fan. Right. So. We're learning a lot about Johnny. <laughs> oh, dear. Anything else you'd like to tell us? You no. and your mother-in-law? <laughs> no. Go on, you can be really bad now. <laughs> Don't tempt him, because he will. Uh, <laughs> stop it. They're, say, they're saying things that I should say no, because you never know. Now, um, <laughs> um, do you have any grandchildren? I have, to be honest. Oh, you see, now you see, I, I have owned a can of worms now. I don't know. You don't know. I can't tell you. I think I've got 13 that belong to my sons and daughter. And there's probably at least another four that came with mums and dads at various points. But they're all grandchildren, really. OK. It's a big family <laughs> to get round that big table. We are. We are a big family. Um, um, talking about the table. What's at the table, Ronna? You want to talk? The bag? The, the the so busy. There's so many updates in my head. <laughs> right. The table, Ronna, two thirds of it has gone. Wow. So a lot of people liking that. But the mini bucket. The mini bucket. Bag. <laughs> Over half the stock has gone. Wow. Over half the stock has gone. Wow. I was told today that if you take the Mickey out of someone, it means that you like them. So, oh, that's so nice. I am taking the Mickey out of my producers because I like him. He's nice boy. He, he's, he's a nice, nice lad, and he comes from Dudley. <laughs> he's from Dudley, which and is my neck. Well, not quite. I'm, Nearly. I'm not far away not from far Dudley. Away. Um, and of course, Lenny Henry comes from Dudley. Yeah, Lenny Henry. So we're in Lenny Henry land. Yeah. Okay, last one for now, because it's pretty obvious what's going to happen. Oh. There you go, and you, you build it up one side and then the other until you've reached the point where either you want to stop yes. or you want to stop you for the night. Yep. And you pick it up again never. tomorrow. Quarters never stop for the night. They no. always go through at least till the early morning. Oh, yeah. And then you can see how the other colours just go fit on nicely. Mm. Yeah. Like uh, but, but do try and go one side and then the other. Mm. Because, as we all know, when we're sewing, everything moves a little bit. Yes. Which is why I recommend tacking the edges down mm. and going from one side to the other because then it, it's moving evenly. Yes. Okay? Yeah. And then when you're finished and you come to bind it, all these little ears will be yeah. nipped off. Nipped off. And your binding will go on and it'll be fabulous. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do another one this year for my outdoor table. Oh, on the terrace. On the, oh, on the ter <laughs> this house is getting grander by the minute. Oh, it's not grand. It Big really table, isn't grand. Terrace, a little yeah. shed in the back garden, and actually, it's a big making shed. quiche. A big shed <laughs> and quiche <laughs> and and the quiche. I'm, I'm coming to you for my summer holidays. Absolutely. I'm going to come welcome. to you on the way down. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's actually, it's about the right stopping distance as well. <laughs> yeah, I because I drove to the south of France last year. Yeah. Never again. No, it's a, it's a long way Never again. to stop. Uh, we did actually two days, but it was still too long. Yeah. Uh, but we did stop halfway down, but I can't remember where it was. Was it uh, Dieppe that we stayed near? I don't know. Dieppe's further up. Further up. Yeah. And on the way down, I can't remember, because we did two different places yeah. on the way down. This is irrelevant. <laughs> right, OK. <laughs> Interesting. Um, what would my lovely producer like me to say oh. next? Anything you like, he says. Anything you nothing. like. Nothing. Oh, he, right. he has nothing, nothing to, say. to say. He's put his papers back and he's gone. And he's going, oh, my word. Everything's nearly sold out. Well, what are we going to do next? I don't care. 30% <laughs> of the Dresden plate has gone. That was our first demonstration do you today. To do you want to carry on? So it's up to you. Go on, carry on. Do a bit more. Do then. a bit more. Um, OK. Yeah, because I know people like watching the demos. So, um... Just pull that in. What was I saying? 30% of that has gone, the uh, the Dresden 
Uh, yes, and then oh, and the bucket bag. Let's have a look at the bucket bag. Um, half the stock has gone on the the uh, bouquet bouquet bag. The bouquet, uh, the bouquet bag. Um, yes, we haven't, we haven't changed the details yet. <laughs> this show is falling to pieces. <laughs> Just blame me. Just blame me. Got the wrong picture. Come on, Jimmy. Where's? Oh, is it? Oh, it's Dudley boy. <laughs> Uh, right, there you are. Sorry, Jimmy, apologies. There you go. So that's it. That's the bucket bag. <laughs> 31 pounds and 49 pence if you'd like to be able to make that fabulous bag there. Uh, 578600 is your item number there. It's Lovely. The item as a point. And that's what it looks like in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody doing this? <laughs> table runner. Yeah. I've picked that up wrong. Anybody doing this table runner? Um, you don't have to follow the order of the stripes yes. in the original. You can randomly pick your own order, do whichever order you like, um, because it's yours. It's mm. not mine, it's yours. And I think even with well, batiks particularly, changing the order of them will give a whole new dimension to whatever piece you've got. Batiks are wonderful. I didn't appreciate how good they are for years. Mm. They just always struck me as ugly little things sitting on a shelf until I made something with them and then realised they're fabulous because as soon as you put a solid colour with them, either white or black or whatever, uh, they start to pop out and they are wonderful. I'm nesting that seam there, by the way, as good as I can get on the television. And I'm sure our viewers will know what nesting the seam means, just making sure they line up as properly as they can. Pins, anybody got any pins? Oh, there's one here. I don't have any pins. Well, I don't know why you I don't like have that. the pins. Mm. I've had that years as well. <laughs> like everything in my life, I've had it for years. This will be your last little bit because can you believe it? Thank you. Um, can you oh, got more pins. Look, handed in. Oh, bless oh, her. Oh, look, that's a very nice um, selection. Selectione, yeah. isn't it? Nice yes. pin box. Um, it is 11:51. If you wonder where we're always looking off, it's because the clock's up there. We could do with a clock under there, couldn't we? We could do with a clock there. <laughs> Anywhere there. where we can uh, see it. So, yeah, it's 11.51, which means the show is almost over. Wow, hasn't that gone quickly? Have you enjoyed yourself? I have. I have. I've loved it. Loved Good. it. Well, they're saying in the gallery, mm -hmm. um, you didn't quite come to scratch, so I'm not sure I'll have it back. I'm joking. <laughs> they're just saying in my ear... <laughs> How good you were to say this is your first live television outing. You've been, br hasn't she been brilliant? Shall we all give her really a round of applause? Kind. Really kind. You don't have to. No, you have because um, just the way you're holding things and explaining things and confident. But you're obviously passionate about what you do. So. I am indeed. I am indeed. Yeah. No, you've um, been, you've been, you've been brilliant as well. It's been lovely. I love it. Thank oh, you. It's I just very want to get kind. to my house in France. <laughs> <laughs> I just want that quiche. Um, you would like the quiche. You would like I'd the quiche. I'd like it. Yeah. I'd like it all. Yes. Anything to do with France, uh, <laughs> I'm there. Right, let's have a look at the website. It is hochanda.com, and that's where you can buy all your bits and pieces uh, today, uh, whatever's left, that is, of course, on the show. Uh, so uh, do have a look. But uh, let's just have a very quick run-through of what we've shown you on the show today, because it's been fab at you last. So we started with this brilliant Dresden plate uh, small yep. quilt. A third of the stock has gone. That one is the tickle pink. tickle pink, and the most popular one is the buttermilk, which is this one. I think it's because this is just a slightly stronger colourway. It's that yeah. red and green combo, isn't it? Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. So 984595, your item number, £34.99 if you would like to get that there. And as you've seen, it is achievable, it is affordable, it never quilted before, yeah. why not give it a go? I always say in, in, in the scheme of life as well, if you spend £35 and it goes a bit wrong, what does it matter? It's not going to break the bank. Not going to break the you bank, You spend £135 and yeah. you're talking a different story, aren't you? £35, yeah. you've had a go, yeah. and you potentially learn something yeah. new, and you'll get better. Yeah. Oh um, yes, definitely. The table runner, if you want to make that rather large table runner, uh, as we've been demonstrating, or if you want to make it smaller and then make other bits and pieces to go with it, then you absolutely can. Um, 862692, your item number. 70% now gone. Wow. Yeah, so 23.49 is what you'll pay to get that home uh, in those wonderful colours because the fabric is there for you all ready to go. So uh, it's very dramatic. 
Um, and as we were saying, that across a table would look mm amazing wouldn't it yeah yeah across a lovely big old oak yeah. table or something and isn't it lovely how the black makes the colors pop, pop. out yeah it does yeah. it does so 862 692 is your item number it's funny isn't it because sometimes if you can look at black fabric in a shop and and look at it with patterns you go well that would just kill it yeah but it doesn't it doesn't with the batiks no yeah it, no, it, it makes, makes it, it actually enhances the batiks yeah it I does think. yeah uh, okay, lovely. Let's go on to the, you know, I want to say, it's the bookie, bookie bag. bag. Uh, let's have a look. If you want to be able to get hold of the fabrics, which are all cut and ready, look, yeah. all done for you. There is all a little the more cutting done. to do because yeah. some, some of these pieces, as you can see, are yeah. bigger than others. Yes. So there's a little more cutting to do, but yeah. there is plenty there. Plenty done yeah. for you. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you would like to be able to make that bookie bag, <laughs> it's thirty-one pounds and forty-nine pence there, and that is five seven. Seven eight six hundred uh, as an item number. So I have a think. That's a very useful bag, isn't it? To yeah. put your shopping in yeah. or your knitting yeah. in. Anything. I've, I've yeah. once did use it as an overnight bag. Yeah. Um, but I've got a better bag coming up that is definitely an overnight oh. bag. Oh. <laughs> Do you know when you're next here? Uh, probably in May. Mm. And I'll bring it for then with a bit of luck. Yeah. And uh, I took it to Australia for a fortnight and rammed everything that I needed Amazing. in this bag. Yeah. So oh, we'll look forward to that. Bags are useful for mm. all sorts of different things. Mm. And if you've got stuff, even your television remotes, if you've got yeah. something to put them in, yes. it's better than leaving them lying around lying the floor around. or on the back of the settee or whatever. Exactly. So I like bags, and yeah. I know a lot of other quilters do too. Yeah, yeah. well, it's a nice one to do, and it's £31.49, and pence, pence. Five seven eight yeah. six hundred. If you like bags, why not make a smaller version as mm -hmm. well? And this one is in those lovely, as I say, Provencal kind of lavender colours yeah, there. Beautiful. But uh, it's very spring-like, isn't it? It's yeah. lovely, lovely little bag. Yeah. Again, the piece is cut for you. Yeah. You might have to do a bit more cutting. There's, yeah, there'll probably be a little more cutting to do because, again, some of the pieces are quite small, some of them are narrower, some are bigger. Yes. So there's a bit more to do. But yeah. Then you can choose where you want your patterns to be, where yes. you want the colour placement to yeah. be. So yeah. you don't have to follow my no. lead. Not every time, anyway. No. You won't be coming and checking. No, no, quilt, <laughs> no such thing as quilt police. Exactly. Well, that one is 622 234, 20 pounds and 49 pence. And the pick and mix patterns, there were five. There's now two left. So it's <sighs> not a pick and mix anymore. If you oh, want wow. to, you've got to get those two. And you could buy the bucket bag, the mini bucket bag, <laughs> and the large runner. So that's wow. it. Those are the two patterns that are left, but both of those are 12 99 How So have amazing. a look on the website. Wow. I think wow. we can say, what was limited, sorry? The large runner, yes, is limited uh, in the pattern. I think we can say that's been a success. It sounds like it. <laughs> it, it certainly is. Um, one stock French line to say, Je suis enchantée d'avoir fait votre connaissance. Je vous en prie. Perfect. <laughs> See you later. 